Hi everyone, glad you could make it. I'm Brian Theoret and this is another episode of Writer's Block. Today I'm working on a brand new song called The Mountain, but before I get right into the writing part, I wanted to just give a little bit of backstory into where the idea for the song came from. Right around Christmas time this past year, I was perusing around Reddit and just happened to stumble upon a live video feed of a guy named Brandon Anthony. Uh, Brandon had just begun telling a story all about the hindrances we face in our lives that hold us back from achieving our goals and our true happiness. And he talked about the obstacles, the lack of motivation, the restlessness, and the self-doubt that we all face uh, when trying to climb our mountain of success. The story just, you know, really stuck with me and I decided I wanted to write a song about it. Uh, for those interested in learning more about Brandon, I've posted Brandon's Instagram and Reddit information in the details section of this video. Okay, now on to the writing. Uh, puzzle piece stuck to my elbow there. Uh, what I wanted to work on today is the bridge section of the song. Uh, I already have some verses and choruses, uh, chorus sections uh, set up and uh, kind of working through those. Each chorus kind of changes a little bit as the main character is farther along on his journey up the metaphorical mountain that he is climbing. Uh, but here's what I have so far. I'm going to play a little bit of the, um, like the first verse. <clears throat> then the chorus, and then we're going to go on to the bridge section. All right. Along the trail, stones and sticks scraped his shins among the shrub brush. So that's kind of, you know, how it starts off the first verse, first chorus there. It builds up, he, he gets, uh, he keeps, you know, building his way up the mountain there. Um, starting off in that house of luxury where he's just kind of where everybody starts. You're, you're comfortable, you don't want to do anything outside your comfort zone. Um, you know, your belly's full, you've got a nice bed to rest in. Um, but he knows, you know, if he, if he wants to, if he wants to just be copacetic as he is, all right, let's stay at this house of luxury, but he decides, you know, he, he needs to move on. And what's the first thing he experiences, um, 
obstacles. He opens that door uh, to leave his house of luxury, and the first thing he sees is it pouring. He, you know, his his clothes are instantly soaked. He's soaked to the bones. Um, he's shivering. He's frozen. But he knows he just has to keep moving, and uh, he just keeps going and going and going until uh, we get to this section in the the bridge where I'm not really sure where to take it, and I decided let's do a writer's block to, you know, kind of get all the junk out of my head. Uh, that's what seems to work the best is just to kind of force inspiration, as they say, um, as they say, I don't know. Anyways, so I, I, I came up with what I think is a, a nice bridge section chord progression. Uh, so it goes from that So I think I want to, when Brandon was telling the story, kind of the next house um, that he talked about after this, uh, you know, this restlessness. So he, he goes from the house of luxury to the house of obstacles to the house of heaviness and dullness, house of restlessness. And now he's about to get to the house of, of self-doubt. And it was just kind of like the sort of the final fifth house, fifth and final house on his way up to the to the top of the mountain. <clears throat> he gets there, he's tired, he's worn out, uh, but he's he's excited that he's made it this high. Um, he knocks on the door, the owner opens up the door and he asks the owner, I'm finally here, sir, and I'm seeking the top of the mountain. The man says, the top of what mountain? And he's like, oh, you've gone that far. You're about to reach the top, and all of a sudden it becomes such a crazy idea that you forget there's even a top of the mountain. You start telling yourself there is no top of this mountain. I, I can't be there. It can't be there. How long have I been on this journey? You know, how long have I, or how many times have I failed? Um, I don't even think there's a top of this mountain, so I'm, that's kind of what this, kind of my ideas I've been throwing together for this section. And so let me see here. This is what I like to do, I just kind of rip on the chords. Just keep going. Until the melody comes to mind, because I mean, before this, I don't, ha I didn't have any idea of a melody for this. I don't really have an idea for any specific lyrics. Uh, just some some vague ideas of kind of what I want to talk about.
been a long it's been a rocky trail um hello sir I'm finally here it's been a rocky trail need more descriptive object writing type stuff. Hello, sir. Here. Hello, sir. I'm finally here. It's been a rocky trail. Hello, sir. I'm finally here. It's been a rocky trail. Rocky Trail, it's been a, need another word for Rocky, it's been a, la, la, la. it's been a something, <laughs> this is one thing I do when I'm, um, when I can't quite come up with a word, I'll, in my lyric sheet, so I'll, I'll write hashtag something, and then later, when I'm in kind of the editing phase, I just, you know, do a search for anything that is hashtag something, um, at least when it's a, a two-syllable word, I can use that hashtag something, but anyways, that's, that's one of the tricks I use to, you know, get an idea down, but if I'm stuck on a word and I don't want to stay there, I want to keep going with the song, I'll just put in kind of a, a placeholder, hashtag something in this case. Hello, sir, I'm finally here. It's been a something trail. <laughs> Hello, sir, I'm finally here. It's been a something trail. And my ankles and my... Hello, sir, I'm finally here. It's been a something trail. And my ankles and my something and my something, something, something. Hello, sir, I'm finally here. It's been a something trail. And my My, and my, it's been an anxious, uh, been a, hello sir, I'm finally here, it's been a lonesome trail, I like that, yeah, it's been a lonesome trail, and my back, it's, Feeling sore. Well, sir, I'm finally here. It's been a lonesome trail, and my back is finally so, and my back is feeling so. Hello, sir. Hello, sir, I'm finally here. It's been a lonesome trail. Yeah, I'll need to change the... Hello, sir, I'm finally here. It's been a lonesome trail. My back. Yeah. So that's that C shape. I mean, 
I'm in dad gad right now, so this is kind of the shape I use for a C chord, G chord. When I'm down here in the C, D, B, C, D. Wait, yeah. feeling sore and my back it's feeling sore full disclosure I'm still learning dad dad I mean uh, I don't know all the chords I'll never learn, I mean, I'll never know all the chords, but um, I'm trying to figure out the best ways to get that open, that open sound, you know, with lots of... I just love that, yeah. Hello, sir. I'm finally here, it's been a lonesome trail, and my back is, and my back is feeling sore. I'm looking up I'm looking up Hello sir, I'm finally here It's been a lonesome trail And my back it's feeling sore I'm looking up To the top I think I see the peak. Uh, how long have I done this for? How have I done this for? Hello, sir, I'm finally here. It's been a lonesome trail, and my back is feeling sore. I'm looking up. To the top, I think I see the peak. How long have I done this for? <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> then the man says, and the man, and the man, he turns his head. Yeah, because at the beginning I'm talking about how the main character turns his head as he kind of steps out of his house or whatever, and he sees the top of the mountain there. So maybe this man is now going to, the man that he meets in the house of self-doubt. Then the man, he turns his head. Looks over his shoulder. Runs his shoulder. Boulder, yeah. All I see is one big boulder. <laughs> nah. Let's try it. Hello, sir. I'm finally here. It's been a lonesome trail. And I'm back feeling. And my back is feeling sore. Yeah, I like that little higher there, the way I sang it. I'm looking up, I think I see, I think I see the peak. How long have I done this for? Many turns, 
see, I need to. I need to <laughs> differentiate between the man walking up the mountain and the man in the um, the man in the house. Um, Hello, sir. I'm finally here. It's been a lonesome trail. My back is feeling sore. I'm looking up to the top. I think I see the peak. How long have I done this for? He turned around. He turned around. Um, I like how I had it before. Then the man, he turns his head and looks over his shoulder. All I see is one big boulder. I'm not sure about those <laughs> shoulder and boulder, but we'll go with it. It's feeling so looking up. I think I see, I think I see the pea. How long have I done this for? Then he turns his head. Whoops. He turns his head. Then the man, he turns his head and looks over his shoulder. A confused look on his face. All I see. Then he turns his head and looks over his shoulder, a confused look on his face. All I see on top of what you call is a mountain. Is just is a moss covered boulder. Boulder, moss covered boulder. Hello, sir. I'm finally here. It's been a lonesome trail, and my back it's feeling sore. I'm looking up to the top, I think I see, I think I see the peak. How long have I done this for? Then the man, he turns his head, looks over his shoulder, a confused look on his face. All I see on top of what you call is a mountain, is a moss-covered boulder. All 
when I see him. Hello, sir. All I see on top of what you call is a mountain. Is a moss covered, moss covered boulder. All I can hear is the ticking clock. There it was, his hands full of doubt. His clock was. What's up, guys? <laughs> it's all right, buddy. It's all right. Clock was ticking. Can't really you. There it was, his house full of doubt. His clock had stopped on. No, I, I don't like this idea of the clock. There it was, his house full of down. There it was, his house full of down. Uh, let's see. So you're, you start telling yourself there's no top of this mountain, it can't be there. There it was, his house full of down. Um. Yeah, I don't even think it's here. I don't even think it's here, no peak for which to seek.
So in the in the story that uh, Brandon told, um, uh, the man never makes it to the top, and I was like, oh gosh, well, I think I want my character in this song to at least make it to the top, or at least see it, you know, actually see it and, and believe it's there. Uh, there it was, his house full of doubt, I don't even think it's here, no peak for which to seek. How long have you been in this bed? Your bed sores they will heal once you get back on your feet. This crazy idea that makes no sense. I need to vary that, um, that melody line a little bit to make it a little bit more interesting throughout, but that's for another day. Makes no sense how many how many times did I fall? But every time every time I stood up and I must go on. Now I must stand up. And I will go on. There it was, his hand of down. I don't even think it's here. No peak to which to no peak for which to see. How long have you been in this bed? Your bed sores they will heal once you get back on your feet. This crazy idea it makes no sense. How many times did I fall? How many times did I fall? But I must go on. Whoops, no. This crazy idea makes no sense. Every time I stood up and I must go on, now I must stand up and I will go Back to the bridge chorus. Uh, bridge chorus. Happy to say I think I now have something to work with thanks for sticking with me with this uh, thanks for listening and I'll be definitely sure to post my progress on this as it ages and I smooth out the wrinkles uh, for more videos in my writer's block series see the link in the description below 
I do these videos not only to let you into my world of songwriting, but this process also helps me to be creative and simply forces inspiration, as you saw. Um, when the camera's rolling, the added pressure seems to just push all of the junk out of my mind, and it just helps me focus and just lock in. I uh, would love to hear your input and feedback in the comments below. Uh, tell me what you're working on. I'd love to hear your stories, how you write, what inspires you, what tools you use to be creative. What's that one song that gives you goosebumps every time you hear it? I think that feeling is the reason I write music, that those goosebumps, I just can't get enough of that. For more videos in my Writer's Block series and for more information on Brandon Anthony, see the links in the description below. If you like this video, please subscribe, give it a thumbs up, and click the little bell down there. Thanks, Brandon, for your inspirational story and for all that you do, and thanks everyone for your support. It means the world to me. Take care. Thank you. Bye-bye. Okay. Like an early morning firefly in late night burn. Shadows guys. circles, the guys, clock strikes ten. It's alright, buddy. I'm dreaming, it goes on, it goes on, it goes on. Yeah.